गुड मॉर्निंग अगेन दी व्यूअर्स आई एम वेरी मच ओवर वेल्ड बाय द रिस्पॉन्स विच यू हैव बिन गिविंग आफ्टर सींग माई वीडियोज एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव यू दी आंसर्स आफ्टर दी वॉट यू कॉमेंट्स यू मेक आई ट्राई टू सॉल्व योर प्रॉब्लम्स आफ्टर आंसरिंग दी कॉमेंट्स बट आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट यू आर लर्निंग दी आर्ट ऑफ दी क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन थ्रू माई वीडियोज एज आई सेड लास्ट टाइम presently i'll present you case scenarios and now i thought recently i was i had a chance to see two important case discussions two important cases in the hospital which required surgical intervention well as a pediatrician this is very important why because the pediatricians or practitioners who have been practicing here they have to understand when is the time this this child should seek a surgical intervention child is basically came to us with the history of pain abdomen and vomiting for the last about 15 days this child had been going from pillar to post from one doctor to the other doctor and was being treated for pain abdomen either a pentoset is being given mset is being given but this child had been having vomiting and headache or the pain abdomen so much so that in the last about 4 5 days the child started having persistent vomiting pain abdomen increase and when the child was brought to the kyult the child was moderately dehydrated at that time the child has was given fluids but what is important is history was has been there there was no family history of any tuberculosis now there was no history of any fever in the last about 15 days there was no history of any loose stools any blood in the stools or any passage of any time of a there was no history of passage of flatus that was very important in the last about 4 days so that become very important when i when we the senior resident saw the child the child as i said was given dehydration fluid for the deficit along with it when the child was examined this child had a abdomen which was of course little tense but no guarding or rigidity i think you watch the uh, video this video will definitely tell you if you f- see the video that there was an evidence of peristalsis in the upper abdomen though the parents were not complaining but when when you see the child examining the child there was an evidence of bowel movements in the upper abdomen that you would realize in the video now when we saw this child this child was cachexic weight was about 19 kg and child was vitals were well maintained local examination has said the child has no pre fluid child has no hepatic filum galli no guarding or rigidity but it was little tense keeping all those things in mind we thought the other system was normal now if i ask uh, devrath that if this is a child with this kind of history and comes to you in the emergency what would you like to keep in mind the intestinal obstruction why what are the points in favor of intestinal obstruction sir the history of did not pass through for the last 4 to 5 days sir right abdominal distension in cancer abdominal not there it was not there visible peristalsis sir right that was there but abdominal ye pakdo isko dekho abdominal distension was not there isko focus karo yaar abdominal distension was not there supposing abdominal distension is not there child has been vomiting and has been having pain abdomen 
वॉट काइंड ऑफ एन ऑब्सट्रक्शन यू कीप इन माइंड बोलो सर स्मॉल बाउल ऑब्सट्रक्शन स्मॉल बाउल ऑब्सट्रक्शन बट आई लेट मी टेल यू हुस एवर वॉज देयर इन द एमरजेंसी द एस आर ए पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एन एंट्री फीवर एंड ए पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ कॉक्स एड ब्रॉमन वॉज कैप्ट मे बी इट वॉज अर्चना और मे बी समन एल्स आई डोंट नेम बट इफ पॉसिबिलिटी वॉज कैप्ट इट देवर नेवर थॉट ऑफ दैट इज द केस ऑफ एन एक्यूट ऑब्सट्रक्शन सो इफ यू थिंकिंग ऑफ एन एक्यूट ऑब्सट्रक्शन एग्जामिनेशन आई हैव टोल्ड यू वॉट इन्वेस्टिगेशन यू लाइक टू गो हेड विशाल सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वुड लाइक टू डू एक्स रे एपडोम इन इरेक्ट सर एक्स रे एपडोम इन इरेक्ट पोजिशन एक्स रे एपडोम इन इरेक्ट पॉस्चर ओके सो राइट इज सेड आई शो यू द एक्स रे फोकस करो इस पर आप देखिए दे आर टू एक्स रेज ये आप देख रहे हो ये ये एयर है नहीं और मल्टीपल फ्लूड लेवल आर देयर सी दिस एक्स रे दिस इज दे आर दी सिटिंग स्टैंडिंग एक्स रेज राइट एक और इम्पॉर्टेंट बात होती है आपको पता लगना चाहिए कि ये स्मॉल बाउल में है या लार्ज बाउल में है ये आपको कोई नहीं पढ़ाता इसमें पता क्या होता है इफ़ यू फाइंड द गैस इन द डिस्टल पार्ट अगर आपको डिस्टल पार्ट में गैस मिलती है बिकॉज लार्ज बाउल इज ऑन द डिस्टल साइड हियर यू डोंट फाइंड एनी गैस इन द डिस्टल पार्ट प्लस मोस्ट ऑफ द मोस्ट ऑफ द फ्लू लेवल्स आर एबव द एबव द एम्लाइकस इफ द इफ द फ्लू लेवल्स आर एबव द एम्लाइकस देर इज नो गैस इन द डिस्टल साइड इट इज मोस्ट लाइकली ए केस इट इज द अपर बॉवर तो दैट इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट इम प्रेस बॉल वेन एवर यू सी सच ए चाइल्ड ऑलवेज लुक फॉर द गैस अंडर द डायफ्रेम दैट इज आई वॉज ऑलरेडी सेइंग नो कार्डिंग और रिजिडिटी वाई बिकॉज दिस कुड बी ए परफोरेशन परफोरेशन यू कैन ऑलवेज सी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम यू विल सी द गैस अंडर द डायफ्रेम सो हियर यू डोंट फाइंड नी गैस अंडर द डायफ्रेम मल्टीपल फ्लूड लेवल्स आर देयर एंड फॉर द लास्ट फोर डेज एज डॉक्टर देवरत सेट दैट द चाइल्ड वॉज नॉट इवन पासिंग द फ्लेट फ्लेटस बट हिस्ट्री डेट बैक टू फिफ्टीन डेज सो मे बी दिस चाइल्ड हैज सब एक्यूट ऑब्सट्रक्शन but has not gone into the acute intestinal obstruction so that is what i would like to say now pratik you have seen this child yes sir. after seeing this x ray what will you like to go ahead yes, sir u usg abdomen pelvis usg abdomen yes sir. okay what are you going to get out in the usg abdomen uh, sir okay any, i will tell you mals sorry Sir, any malrotation of gut is there or not? Any any year old child malrotation is less likely, especially when you have the upper yes. bowel obstruction. As I said in the X-ray, also you can say to some extent yes. that is an upper bowel obstruction or a large bowel obstruction. Yes. I give you the points also in favor yes. of that. Yes. Now it looks like an upper bowel obstruction with the kind of levels more in the above the umbilicus. Yes. Now what is going to happen is I I going to read about the uh, findings of the there is something called as transition point that is very important you people should know let me tell you the findings are there it is written ultrasound abdomen there were dilated bowel loops maximum diameter of the genital loops was three more than three point seven centimeters. and possible transition point is distal jejunum what does that mean pankhodi can say what is the meaning of a transition point so you have never asked me this question what is a transition point it is Sir, important sometimes you may not get a transition point even the if you know it is good the transition point is a point where you have a bowel which is proximal to that is dilated and distal to that is collapsed so you have a point so here luckily most of the time you may not get that in the ultrasound abdomen why because there is a lot of gas in the abdomen and sometimes you will not pick it up the transition point luckily in this child <coughs> they say that the transition point is in the they say jejunal bowel loops are distended Ileal loops are collapsed, and the distal and the transition point is something in the distal jejunum. That means most likely the obstruction is there in the distal jejunum. It is very clear. 
Now what happened? If you have the ultrasound, if you have the x-ray, this, this is a case we recently had. What will you like to do, Shishma? How will you like to treat this child? Sir, we will keep the child NPO and surgical intervention is needed for this right. child. Surgical intervention, before surgical intervention, before you send this child for surgical intervention, what will you like to do as a pediatrician or as a practitioner? That's why I have already told you that surgical is not going to be done. First of all, put a rice tube. If you see the video, when we put a rice tube, after putting a rice tube, there is a material of fecoline. It means that below the, after, proximate to the transition point, that material was a fecoline type. So it is all the more indication that this child needs a surgery. So now, if you have a child with this, whenever you get such a kind of a child, pain abdomen ho raha hai, don't treat the patient giving Domstal, giving Pentoset, try to assess the child and go in for the x-rays, go in and in the x-ray I told you large bowel, small bowel, go for the, this is an acute obstruction because the child had not passed the platus also. So this child will go for the surgical intervention. So this you must be aware in this video that this is, needs to be done, okay? Any questions? Electrolytes were done for this child and electrolytes were within normal levels. For this child, since the child has been vomiting and there could be even hypokalemia which can also lead to the kind of a paralytic ileus, so you must assess or must do the serum electrolytes. So that is in short you have to do about this child. Pankhu, do you have any question? No question. So everybody has understood. So when this child is to be referred, next time when a patient comes here, you need to put a rice tube. Measure the abdominal girth for some time, find out how much in the last about few hours, how much dry tube aspirate is coming. Supposing it is not fecoline but multiple, the amount of large aspirate is too much. Then you need to see the child as a whole and maybe you need to take a surgical intervention. We put this, we refer this patient to our surgical team. Since we don't have a pediatric surgeon out in the hospital, they also said since you are finding out a transition point, you are finding out a uh, this uh, fecoline material, this child needs to be straight away referred and should be opened up. That is what, we don't know the follow-up of this child because child was referred to another tertiary hospital where the pediatric surgeon is available. But then I hope this, there should be a good outcome. Thank you.